Money, 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 money. Ching, ching. Look, man. Money in the Bank is coming up, and there's a lot of people who are rooting for a lot of wrestlers to win. This guy apparently has the 20 guys that has to be talked about in the streets, otherwise why they're in the video, but ultimately should not win this thing. I ain't gonna lie, chat. Before we start, I don't know where y'all at on the screen right now. Maybe it's just taking a while for it to refresh. But you guys comment below and or say right now who you think should get this briefcase, because I want to see how many broken hearts are in this video. Money, 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 money 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 it's time for money in the bank and sure we could put Talk together to a top 10 list of people who should win the briefcase this year Talk but we think me. you guys deserve a little something extra so how about a top 10 of who should and a top 10 of who shouldn't it's a fusion dance list hooray i'm adam from wrestle talk and here are our top 20 wrestlers who oh. should and shouldn't oh so it's 10 of who should and shouldn't oh, okay so in that case i'll give one of mine out then i thought i had to save mine for last then y'all know i've been talking about bro for a minute and he don't necessarily got a top 10 theme, so he hasn't been in all the WWE theme. I've been saying this since the GM days. I've been saying that before the GM days, bro. You cannot have a Money in the Bank pay-per-view. Hell, you can't even have a Mr. Money in the Bank without whose game is it? Come on, man! You can't spell Money in the Bank without L.A. Knight. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, come on, bro. What are we doing? I'm not even gonna give you my who shouldn't, bro. I want to see what he says. F that. That's my number one pick, and it ain't close. Should number one, Cody Rhodes. Cody's Should. Cody's part of finishing this bloody. Disagree. That's gonna piss a lot of you off. It, it's, it's gonna piss a lot of you off. Nah, nah. I don't want Cody winning this. I, I know the match is pretty much made, except for one spot. So like 90% of the people in this video, it is what it is. But I don't want Cody in this. Cody can get his get back on Roman organically as. F Cody can win the Rumble again. I'll even I'll even have the hot take that Cody can win the Rumble again before he wins Money in the Bank. Why would he be in the Money in the Bank match? Granted, he, I granted this is a little late because obviously he's not in it. But why would he then go to a Money in the Bank match and then win it while still having an unfinished feud with Brock Lesnar? If anything, you would have Brock interfere with said match. So nah, no, no reason should Cody really have the briefcase. I disagree. The story of his could very feasibly see him winning this year's Money in the Bank ladder match. It would allow Cody to cross the Raw SmackDown divide without undermining the already very undermined brand split. And secondly, I don't even know if I want Cody winning. In the right off the bat, and we I do can think get Cody could get his get back ball up. rolling. Ideally, this would see Cody name SummerSlam as the place instead of next year's WrestleMania. Roman's bloodline empire is on pace to crumble completely Ooh. in the next few weeks slash months. So let's not artificially Jimbo. extend this thing out any longer. He's already passed a thousand days. Let's just do this thing. Should number one, Brock Lesnar. Now, yeah. Cody realistically should win no. the briefcase at Money in the Bank, but there is a Brock Lesnar shaped elephant in the yeah, room. No. They have Brock. one win each, and in the wrestling world, Brock, that comes no with reason. obligations. Brock, no However, That's after random. 2019, we can never be 100% sure that Brock Lesnar isn't going to be in a Money in the Bank ladder match. Poor Mustafa Ali, how different things could oh have been. Well, God. the Brock party thing was admittedly hilarious. It goes without saying that we don't need an encore. Brock should never again be involved in the world title scene. We got our fill. Thank you. Should number two, Becky Lynch. Yes, I know you could oh. also very feasibly argue that Becky Lynch doesn't need a Money in the Bank Okay, with win. the she women's? Okay, I didn't know we were doing women's too. I think my answer is no. I'll let him hear. I'll hear him out. He's done it all. Right, I'll hear wrong. I'll hear she hasn't held that briefcase before. I don't know about you, but that just seems kind of wrong. Personally, I am enjoying Lynch being separate from the women's title scene, and ideally, I'd like that to continue. After all, it would be awfully nice to get a women's Money in the Bank winner actually hold on to the thing for longer than a day. Plus, you know, Becky would make that case look ridiculous. Should Okay, and spoiler on the Ronda Rousey, but I know off rip EO deserves a shot. Live as a surprise return would be dope. Maybe like you make a talent here, whether it's a girl like Candice LeRae or some motherfucker like uh, uh um. Or even Shayna to separate her from Ronda, funny enough, as Ronda's on the screen. Maybe you make talent here. The only people who are established that I think could win it, and that's why I'm hesitant on Becky, is Becky. Hot take, Bianca I could kind of see. I think I want somebody completely new here. Student number two, Ronda Rousey. Ah, Rowdy Ronda Definitely Rousey. Not Ronda. Does she Definitely even not Ronda. want to win this? Ronda has spoken before about not yeah. needing another championship run, so no need to go against her wishes and force money in the bank win on her. Ronda and Shayna have finally gotten their hands on those women's tag titles anyway, so just let them do that yeah, for a while. The nah. tag scene is going to benefit from Rousey's star power, whereas the opposite usually happens every time she's involved with the world title. Should number three, LA Knight. Yeah. LA Knight's popularity at this Come point on. is reminiscent of a Zack yeah. Ryder or a Rusev. Yeah. 
there and what happened to both of them when they got over without WWE's permission they got buried yeah or at Come least on. never actually received the push Easiest. that popularity he, warranted so if he doesn't win I have a problem that's how much LA Knight should win LA Knight's match the Money in the Bank match should might as well open because if LA Knight doesn't win I'm actually like I'm upset a little bit there's only one other name that I could accept outside no two there's only two other names I could kind of accept and to be honest I'd be mad still just LA Knight bro it give it it's LA Knight so bro. instead listen to those cheers don't pipe in booze roll with it and give the yeah, people the what they want he literally nasty. has all the tools and he's four years old for I've God's seen sake that on Twitter. yeah the pipe don't dilly dally pull crazy. the trigger now and you will have a bona fide top guy for at least the next three to four exactly. years shouldn't three any of the bloodline. I'd love to see Jey Uso dethrone Roman as much as the next guy. However, neither Jimmy or Solo or even Heyman should be winning the Money in the Bank match. Actually, Paul Heyman, you know what? You could convince me. And why exactly? Their ongoing civil war simply doesn't warrant this finish. briefcase. There are more than enough moving parts in that story. And actually, having someone outside the bloodline winning the case would probably benefit the story overall. Having Roman a paranoid wreck, not only due to threats from within his family, but also on the outside courtesy of an external Money in the Bank cash-in, it would make for good tv now here's the problem because there's a huge argument to be made as he said that you have everything in the bloodline without the case and then somebody is looming over all of, all of that maybe that makes roman act more erotic than he already is type shit and it sets up a beautiful storm the counter is simple if you give jay or solo that briefcase they could come in with the idea of falling in line holding on to this shit. just like because they haven't cashed it in whatever reason maybe Maybe they're stalling, maybe they're out, maybe they're um, injured, whatever the case may be. If they just don't ever cash it in, that could always loom over in the sense of when that betrayal may possibly happen. That could be a fire story too. I don't think it's such a bad idea that it should have made a shouldn't. Now, obviously he's talking about the more polarizing people, so he's making a decision, but I'm very indifferent on it. I think Jay would be the most compelling of them because Solo, Solo betraying and going to a straight chip is kind of nasty if solo betrays it should just leave Roman, Roman there to get pinned by someone else Jay would kind of be crazy because he already is indifferent on if he's falling in line or not so if he's just running around abandoning the bloodline with the briefcase that's crazy so it's interesting and uh, he's about to agree with me on Bianca should number four, Bianca Belair. Okay, don't rush to the comments just yet. Here is out. If reports regarding a potential impending Bianca Belair heel turn are to yep. be believed, the money in right, the bank exactly. serve as a really fun and effective way to exactly. do so. I mean, we're all getting beyond sick of Belair super scenering her way through an entire women's division. So if she were immediately to regain her title via money in the bank, people would understandably be a bit miffed. Or you could have her hold on to the briefcase for a bit and use it as a prop to cover her misery over losing her beloved championship. Either way, people <laughs> hate it and hate his money i ain't gonna lie hot take one i wasn't sick of Su super bianca you just had to book the, the women the right way and the problem is nobody was booked the right way except for oscar so at that point it kind of felt like they just forced it for the second change like it didn't feel like it was oscar's time to win it oscar was the person i feel like they just didn't book nobody else the right way so they just got and it had to be Super Bianca. You could have booked Bailey stronger. You could have booked. Uh, you could have booked El stronger. You could have booked Oscar stronger. Granted, she's the champion. You could have booked her even stronger. And in hindsight, I know niggas love title changes, but that title change was kind of weak. The that title change was kind of really, really, really weak. I'm, I'm, I'm for Oscar for champion, but that was a weak change. That, that was a weak change. I am a hundred percent on board with what everyone is speculating with heel Bianca, and I think you even go a step further and give her a briefcase. Now she's not only a heel with a briefcase, which is always a great combo but she's a heel with a briefcase with like that edge to her because we know how dangerous she is when she actually has the belt and looming over both of them that's peak so i i think i i honestly and i know i'm a bianca stan so maybe that's the stand coming out but i honestly think she should be the first person that they try to give it to the second I'll, I'll talk about if he uh, reveals the name. Shouldn't fall. Bianca Belair. So I told you to hold far in that. <laughs> now the counter is Super Bianca Bar 2. Immediately granting Belair a ticket back into the title scene is rather counterproductive. So instead, let's allow Belair to cool off first, especially if WWE don't plan on turning her Just don't have her go soon. against Besides Oscar. Besides, Raquel Rodriguez needs her 579th tag partner. So there you go. Perfect solution. Should number five, Chad Gable. <laughs> okay, we've all had our fun with the Alpha Academy and Maximum Male Models and all of that. Can we actually get to the part where WWE pushes this man already? Like, seriously. 
Oh, please. that's could interesting. You, could you brush him, please? Now, it may seem lazy to draw the Kurt Angle comparison, that is but not very since Kurt Angle has someone possessed both the legitimate wrestling background and the ability to be an absolute goof. Gable is the highlight of any segment or match he's part of. He truly has it all to be a world champion, apart from the complete backing of WWE. Gable is rumored to be a potential Money in the Bank contestant, so maybe our prayers will finally be answered soon. Should that is interesting. Gable is interesting. I'd say no, because I think he has to build up. I think it's kind of, we're just throwing niggas in the ring type shit. If you have him hold a world championship or a WWE championship, but Gable should have a feud with a Gunter or even going for the US belt 100%. So I'm not mad if this is a way you push him. I'm just kind of, maybe I'm traditionalist or whatever. I think the briefcase being cashed in on like mid car belts is corny. So yeah, but nah, I could, I, I could get with that. I could get with that. Now this I heart disagree with. This was the second. So I said three names. This was the second name. This is the only, I'll even go as far as this. This is the only name where if he won money in the bank over LA night, no complaint, no complaints. Dom, Dom is insanely over. <laughs> Y'all are, some of you are going to get mad. It's Roman, Seth, Dom. Like, it, it's crazy. Dom is insanely over right now. A money in the bank briefcase would do it kind of perfectly good number five Dominic I Mysterio I almost put him on the should list I really did because oh, it would be very very funny another name touted to be a contestant in this year's match is your friendly neighborhood ex-con Dom Dom Mysterio with Dom reportedly being a Triple H favorite there is an actual strong possibility he could walk out of the O2 with make the a lot of sense. however as fun as a shock factor of that would be I just don't feel he's world champion material yet instead start him off with a mid card title or the tag titles build him up don't skip a step he's only 26 years old don't repeat the same mistake you did with austin's theory last year should number six trish stratus as he is giving me money about in the trish. bank briefcase to a hall of famous seems on the surface trish is undoubtedly doing great work at present and an eighth world title run I forgot about trish. For. She That's actually a good is even better in the ring now than her beak, which is just insane she also seems to be really enjoying herself so why not keep the good times rolling and give her that feather in the cap of a money in the bank i would do zoe over trish though i'd do zoe over trish though but that's interesting and victory after all this is probably the last run she's going to have so maybe ever get another one over on Becky by pipping her to the briefcase and allowing her to soak up all that yeah, glorious I, I, I heat. Let her number six, Charlotte there. Flair. Fuck as no. much as I can oh sit God, here and no. give you reasons as to why Charlotte shouldn't win money in the bank, you know them. Should number seven, yeah, no. Damian Priest. During his backlash program with Bad Bunny, Priest, Priest had that top guy energy about Priest don't need losing briefcase. confidence Priest just and absolutely hitting it. the ball out of the park with the San Juan Street Fight match itself. Priest's great show. Priest, Priest, Priest could just have a beef with Seth Rollins tomorrow and it'd be valid. in line for a big push and they're really is no better way to make that a reality than a money in the bank win. Priest has often felt like Judgment Day's forgotten man, so let's give him his due and establish a new dominant Priest force don't need in the main case. event Priest, scene. You could just Should throw Priest seven, in there. Bray Wyatt, Uncle Howdy. Please Bray Wyatt's don't. uncertain current health status. <laughs> No, <laughs> no, just awful decision. I, I told y'all when it was happening and it's not like how Dante saying, I don't like him anymore. I told you it was happening. He's telling these stories and at first his heat, the promos were S tier, like every Bray promo was trending. And then he just never wrestled. He just never wrestled, bro. And the one time he did was some random E beef with LA Knight where a botched finish at the end, mind you. And he never wrestled again. Like it, it's, uh, it's uh just so if the story can't explain why you want to punch bro in the face <laughs> i don't care to make him a strange candidate to win money in the bank however it can't be ruled out while it would garner attention wwe should really test the waters with wyatt when he returns given his health related absence an immediate thrust is a bit too much and sets his high expectations immediately history has taught us that wyatt and world titles are not a happy marriage so let's not do that anytime soon also it goes without saying that an uncle howdy win would be about a million times worse he is awful and silly should number eight io sky Easy. with dakota kai unfortunately out with the torn ACL, Dakota the Kai's another name and she's healthy, but I don't think she's healthy. Yeah, yet to be honest, in reality, it makes things a lot simpler. Io is ready for a singles push. Backlash proved that in spades. So let's have Money in the Bank be the catalyst yeah, that, that, for Io. This is just as easy as LA Knight. Shadow. She could even topple Bayley in order not to grab the briefcase, the rubber stamping the split, easy. and also setting up a nice rivalry for both off the back of it. Should number eight, Zoe Stark. Well, really? I love Zoe Stark's new allegiance with Trish Stratus and applaud WWE in giving her something meaningful to do early in her main roster run. A Money in the Bank win would be a bit much. After all, 
Paul's starkest approach is a two Trish and should not be overshadowing her immediately. Instead, if WWE fancied Trish's Money in the Bank win, you could easily have Stark play a major part in making that happen. Similarly to Kane assisting Seth Rollins in sense. 2014. He actually Stark changed my mind on that. That makes sense. Sure yeah. that Trish gets the W. It'll garner Stark some well Because I was already early different on it. Yeah, you have Trish WWE win until we help. You don't rushed. have. Should number beef. nine, Sami Zayn. Sit down, Cody. Really? There's one story that needs to be finished in WWE and it ain't yours right now. I still stand by the fact that Sami Zayn was the guy to knock off Roman at WrestleMania. And while he did get some form of revenge at Night of Champions, he didn't actually pin Roman. Despite being consistently cast aside, Sami has stayed at the top of WWE's card and remains perhaps the most over guy in the company. So let's give him his due. Like I said earlier, Roman has passed a 1,000 days, the bloodline's crumbling, have Sammy plant the stake firmly in the heart of the tribal chief and close this story the right way. I'm gonna have to say no. They've already, it's not that Sammy isn't over, he is. I think people are underestimating how over Sammy is. It's not that Sammy hasn't, um, doesn't have a motive, he does. My issue with Sammy dethroning Roman is that not only should you have already done it, but you've closed the book. Him then going on to win Money in the Bank just reopens a closed book. It wasn't like there was a little bit of closure left even. It's just like, it's already been closed. Like you had him beat Solo and Roman. You had Sammy come out there and say, hey, I'm done with him. I'm just trying to make Jay and um, Solo and them wake up. Him winning the championship from Roman, it just don't hit. I, like as goofy as it sound, at that point, you might as well run with like how my dog Easy thinks and just have Jay kick Roman head off at that fucking point. If you're gonna go that route and introduce Sammy in that story, but you don't have Sammy do it now. Now, I am a very strong believer that you could have easily just had Sammy beat Roman. I, I know some people would have been like, oh, Roman has to lose that mania. In my opinion, he doesn't. <laughs> he really doesn't. For the day Roman Reigns loses, it will trend. The only reason it will probably likely happen at Mania is for the sake of cash. But outside of that, nah. Sammy could, I think Roman should be at any point in time getting the throne. I don't think you have to drag out to obviously Mania. Shouldn't number nine, Edge. Edge's yeah, final nah. pursuit of the World nah. Championship should really have been the recent World Heavyweight Edge Tournament. Edge should have just won his qualifier. And nothing yeah. came if of it. So given WWE Edge, passed yeah. up an opportunity to tell that story, perhaps they could have another one in mind courtesy of Edge once again reclaiming gold via his favorite method. An opportunistic money in the bank cash in. While this will be fun for nostalgia, Edge is a bit old now and doesn't have long left in WWE. He's had his chances and in this case, in this final world title scene, he seems to have failed. The whole one more match gimmick was Christian's thing after all. Let's just let it lie and give him a different angle for his final hurrah that doesn't involve a ladder. Think of his poor knees. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. Yeah, Edge, if you were gonna do it, you would've just had him beat AJ. Yeah, if you, if you, if you were gonna do Edge, you would have him beat AJ, like punch Seth in the nuts for the belt and then tell Seth to wait, but yeah, it's just a matter of like what you're gonna do to send off Edge now, but nah. Should number ten, Bailey. While I would like Io to win it more, money in the bank victory for Bailey. Not a lot of people talking about that. Bailey makes a lot of sense. Rather directionless since being Bailey makes a lot of sense. last year and hasn't looked remotely like the threat she realistically should be. A money in the bank win at the expense of Io would be a superb way to get heat. You could even have the two feud over the briefcase itself. Either way, a win would help Bailey get that credibility she once had and so desperately needs to find again. She's a Bailey would make woman, a ton of sense, and you can tease the should, number ten Indy. Hartwell. Similarly to yeah, Zoe nah, Stark, a money back win is just too much too soon for the former NXT Women's Champ. So realistically, she needs to do that first to avoid a flat response. Oh, and Dom, I appreciate you re-coming re yes, to him again. Yeah, honestly, honestly, I don't need to watch the rest of this because it just, yeah, Indy Indy just doesn't make a lick of sense. It's not that Indy's not talented. It's she has done literally nothing yet. Can she do something? Yeah, a lot of people don't even know who the hell Indy Hartwell is. It, not no disrespect, they just don't. So if you just have Indy Hartwell frame one win the bitch, she would have to put on an A plus 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 class in the Money in the Bank match, and that's insane amounts of pressure. But nah, that was a good vid for sure though. Um, I definitely am still with LA Knight after all that. The third name, I'm not mad at. It just doesn't make sense. That's why it would still piss me off. But he's a great guy. He's Montez Ford, 100. You could easily have Tez try to do some shit. Tez would be the only one. Not only that, I wouldn't be mad at in terms of not being LA Knight or Dom being pissed. I'd be mad. I wouldn't be pissed. My bad. So I wouldn't be pissed if he got it over those two. But I say this. Montez would be the only one that could get it. And I wouldn't be mad if he didn't go for like the top two titles. If he did that and went for Gunter, no complaints. Uh, at the end of the day, we know it's LA Knight. If it's not LA Knight, 
you don't have a money in the bank because you can't spell money in the bank without L A night. Yeah, you can't like this video without spelling L A night. Yeah, you know what I mean, Sam man. Hey, put that case on him. What are we talking about, bro?